The National Retail Federation says theft accounted for $94.5 billion in losses last year. That's up from $90.8 billion in 2020. A 2022 National Retail Security Survey pointed to the pandemic and a rise in organized retail theft. 45% of retailers right now say they're spending money to protect their employees and their customers from theft. 65% say they're investing more in technology to keep their products and their people safe. And many others say they're just concerned in general with violence against their employees. Action News Now reporter Tori Apodaca is live at the shopping center on Mangrove in Chico. So Tori, what's happening here in our area? Yeah, Haley, businesses here are no exception to this theft happening. In fact, that's why the businesses in Chico have created the Chico Retail Watch, and they're posting signs like this one up in front of their stores that read, shoplifting is a crime, and we report and prosecute shoplifters. And it's signs like these that they hope will deter these thieves from coming in. Now, the owner here at Sports LTD in Chico, Matt Smith, says it's been thousands and thousands of dollars worth of items stolen from socks to jackets to camping gear. Anything unlocked has been fair game. Now he's starting to see the same people trying to steal more than once in a month. He says this will not be tolerated. The repeat offenders, for the most part, have drug issues and their brains don't work very well anymore. And so their decision making process sucks. And so they just keep trying the same thing and they get arrested the same. You know, there's multiple arrests in Chico for people doing the same thing week after week after week. And they're just right out in the streets again because there is no consequences as set up through the state statutes right now. So under Proposition 47, if you steal under $950 worth of items, it's categorized as a misdemeanor. Smith has been tracking the thefts happening at his shop with these wall of shame posters. And just within this last month, Smith has added eight new pictures to that wall of people. He says that he's seen coming in here trying to steal from the shop. And Haley, kind of like you were saying earlier, you know, beefing up some of the security. He tells me he has spent thousands of dollars trying to make sure his shop is a safe place to be and that they can also catch these people. In fact, he's also even shut down this door here behind me. You can see it says, please use other door. That way he can kind of track who's coming in and out of the shop. Reporting live in Chico, Tori Apodaca, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Thanks, Tori. The city of Chico's crime map shows 147 burglaries so far this year, which is down from this time last year where there was 203.